casting ballots for a brighter future in Central America's most populous country. Guatemala is electing a new president in the hopes of stemming corruption and poverty. CGTN's Frank Contreras is now in Guatemala City. Frank, polls have just closed. Uh, what have you just picked up? Well, as you just pointed out, the, the polls are closing now all across the country and 11 hours of vote casting, Wang Guang, on this special day here when Guatemalan voters choose their next leader. The main issue, of course, has been that issue of corruption, a burning issue in this Central American nation. Uh, past presidents, three of four of the last presidents have been jailed on charges and sentenced on charges of, of corruption. And so it is a major issue here that affects everything, including the economy. The front runner has been Sandra Torres. She's 64 years old, former first lady and a businesswoman, and of course, she has made part of her campaign uh, effort uh, an effort to attack corruption, she says. She's promising citizens here that that will be the case. Um, other, other candidates in the race include Thelma Cabrera. She's an indigenous woman, 46 years old, in the rural parts of Guatemala, uh, pulling together the vote in that location. Some observers believe that she might do quite well here in the lead-up here to the vote count. And so we expect for the next few hours, the votes will be trickling in, heading toward the, the capital here in Guatemala City, and the, uh, the officials who are charged with the business of counting the votes and making certain that, that the process was uh, a clean one, they'll be, they'll be conducting that process for hours now. And we're expecting that we should have some sort of results sometime before midnight local time here, Wang Guang. Frank, how likely is there to be a runoff election? Well, if you look at the polls here, it indicate, they indicate that there's a very high likelihood of that. Uh, the reason is that no single candidate is, is expected to get 51 percent of the votes. That's what would be needed to seal this off in one round. And so the next round will take place on August 11th. And uh, that will pit the two first place finishers here. They could be women. It could end up being, for the first time ever, a woman who runs this Central American nation, the most populous nation, as you pointed out, in Central America. A key issue um, outside of Guatemala, of course, has been the issue of immigration, with hundreds of thousands of people fleeing this country, headed north through, the, through Mexico, on their way to the United States. They hope to try to reunite with citizens there. But rarely do you hear the issue of immigration actually brought up among the candidates here. And so we'll see in the second round if that should be the case. Uh, CGTN will be back if there is a second round, and we'll bring you all the coverage of that. And later tonight we'll have uh, results as well. So, so keep an eye on the website. We'll let you know what the outcome of this election, first round in Guatemala's presidential elections are. Juan Guang. We surely will. Frank Contreras uh, from Guatemala City, thanks so much for this update.